Hello, Figaholic friends. I just want to show an example of our shopping cart, um, how it works. Some people have asked questions. Some have never shopped with this before, and some don't remember how it works. And so I'm going to go through this. Um, this is just a testing page. I have a sticky note here to block that. I don't want anybody coming in ordering when we're just doing testing. We'll just cancel those orders anyway. But you can see there's just one tab open related to the the cutting shopping and I just have two, two varieties listed here on this test page and I wanted to show an example here at the very top is the flexible shipping option I've had a description of that at the top of the um, page for over a week now and you can read the reasons for that when you get to our website again our website is figaholics.com and uh, the page is cuttings. Um, you can click on that page. Um, most people have found that easy enough. That's where all of our varieties are listed. Right now, we just have shopping cart buttons for these two varieties plus the flexible shipping option. So here we're going to um, now let me just add to right now at this point, just because you see um, that you have a add to cart button there. You know, the variety may have been sold out already before I was able to get to it. Some things sell out very quickly. Um, last year, one variety had 85 cuttings and sold to like 35 different customers in 79 seconds. That's just really insane, but that happens sometimes. Maybe not so crazy this year. We'll see. Um, we always get surprised, though. But I update this page um, continuously on the night of our sale as fast as I can, but I can't click as fast as a thousand different people. So um, just that cautionary note. Also, what, sometimes if you get an item added to your shopping cart, um, it may sell out before you check out. Um, it's not reserved for you just because it's in your cart. In fact, it may be sold out even before you add it to your cart. That's just you know a flaw with the PayPal shopping cart. Uh, I'm not going to change the cart I'm using. I've gone over that a lot of times. This works out well for the vast majority of people, but it's not perfect. So let's go through and we're going to add one item here. We're going to add the flexible sh um, shipping option. Now you can see at the top there, we got another tab open and it's got a PayPal checkout page, but we're going to just go back to the tab up above and click on the order page so you haven't lost your spot and that's why i recommend that you order on a computer not a cell phone because otherwise you're losing your spot every time and you um, need to find it um, here you can just jump from one tab to the other so let's go down to three in prato we're going to add um, one cutting of that variety and there by default everything is one um, I can see, I see you can adjust the flexible shipping option quantity, but you don't want to do that. That one is all you need to pay for each order. And then, you know, if you decided you wanted to increase that three in Prato there, you could increase it there, or you could delete it from your cart. Now let's go back up to, um, the ordering page and let's go ahead and decide we're going to order three of this one. So I just enter three and click it um, paypal doesn't have that this default coding or this coding for a shopping cart but i saw some other um, website that had some cart um, somewhat similar to this and i played around with it and i am uh, not a computer coder but i figured this out and so it allows you to add your um, edit your quantity right there now, some people have asked, um, do I need a PayPal account to check out? And you can see over here on the right, you can check out with PayPal or you can check out without a PayPal account. I'll just get in here close so you see what I'm talking about there. Now, the only thing with that, I would say, I believe that if you check out without a PayPal account, they don't accept um, American Express. Um, PayPal is um, handling all of my payments but you can buy um, without having a PayPal account. Again, you can edit your quantities 
here in the cart or you know remove an item entirely but you may hope that this helps you know answer some of your questions about this because they've just reduced um, the quantity of the 60th street unknown to two and it updates it right away um, so um, this here doesn't include the shipping costs yet the shipping costs are shown um, on the text of the order page so thanks for watching and hope this answers some of the questions we've been getting.